And then you start resisting us and throwing yourself on the ground. I have a huge coat on my arm from the handcuffs. You're trying to pull us out. Then I get you in the car just to have you detained and separated, and you still haven't stopped. Okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So right now, I still don't know. Okay, but just wait one second. I want to read you your mind rights. You're not under. No, no, listen. You're not under arrest. I don't know what the hell just happened, and I don't want you to incriminate yourself. I want to protect you. Okay? I don't know what happened. I have no idea. And if there's nothing going on, because I don't know what's going on up there, we can't figure it out, then you're getting out of here, okay? So let me just read you those to protect you, because I don't want you to incriminate yourself, because I don't know what the hell's going on, all right? What are you on probation for? Assault with a deadly weapon. Okay. Battery. Okay. Battery. Right. Battery. What? They gave it, they third degree okay. battery. Okay. Let's do one step at a time, okay? 
I got you. I, did, I swear to God, I ain't touched this girl first, bro. She threw something on me and I defended myself. Okay. That's it. Okay. I feel like I, I didn't Did know people wrong. report it? Is there any? No. Jazz and them was outside, bro. Every, Everyone's saying they don't know what the hell's going on. They're is fucking, normal. bro. I got you. All right, so, so I'm about to go to jail uh -huh. because people Nobody, can't tell the truth. I never said that you were going to jail. Let me read you this so that we can talk, okay? It's all you. Got so it. what happened was I'm sitting outside drinking, listening to my music, singing. Okay. Singing you stay here? Song. Yes, I stay okay. here. I stay in apartment three. Been staying there for 11 months or something like that. Okay. So mm -hmm. I'm singing my song. She walks to her baby daddy car, gets in the car, get out the car, walks up to me talking about I'm saving you. I'm saving you. I'm sparing you. So what I did was, after they pulled off and left, I went in the house. And as you see, I'm, I'm dressed like this. I was not dressed like this earlier. I had a wig on and something else. You know what I mean? That's what I had on. So I did change. Because, like, if this person is grunting me, I'm going to get prepared. Okay, I got you. Yeah. So... I'm outside, I'm standing there, her baby daddy talking about, oh, you need to leave. You need mm -hmm. to leave. You don't even stay here. You don't even stay here. Right? Okay. So I said, I do stay here. I'm not bothering nobody. I'm standing right here. I'm not saying shit to nobody. I don't bother nobody. I stay in that fucking house or I do what I need to do. I don't I don't mess with no fucking body out here. Period. So after that, I said, it's whatever, bro. I'm screaming. I'm like, it's whatever. You said you're gonna beat my ass, it's whatever, it's whatever. At this point, you've been threatening me for weeks now, bro. When I did try to fight you, you ain't even come out the house. When I did, mm -hmm. that's when you call the cops that day when I did. Then I would say I'm guilty. But this shit, I ain't guilty. So I'm standing right there. She get out the car. Talk about, you need to worry about taking care of you. Bro, my kids straight. I send no money every <laughs> Send no money every They're straight. They're not with me. It's because I want them to be in a stable home. If I know I can't do good for them, why would I keep them and make them suffer? Okay. Make it make sense, right? So, after that, I'm standing there. She talking about, you better shut the f*** up before I throw my Gatorade on you. So, I said, okay. So, I'm standing there. She throws her Gatorade, Gatorade on me, so I took off on that bitch. You got me f***ed up. You think you're going to throw something on me and I ain't going to do shit. You got the wrong bitch, bro. So, that's what happened. She threw her drink on me. We went to start a fighting. Her oh, baby daddy comes like, oh, you need to let her go finally. Let her leave. Bro, let her leave. I fight niggas on a regular. You know what I mean? So I said, I said, let her go. So I let her go. She go upstairs. And next time I know that's when y'all came. And you, you were asking me what was happening. All I know was I was defending myself. You're not going to throw no drink on me. And I ain't touch you. I see if I touch you, I'm allowed to talk. It's called freedom of speech. So I'm allowed to talk my shit. But you put your hands on me first. And I swear to God, bro, if I go to prison for this shit, when I get out, when I get out, I will find you. And that's a promise. Because like I said, mm -hmm. I've been out of jail for 11 months. Haven't gotten no truck. Bro, I called my probation officer two weeks ago, a week ago, and told her what the was going on. You know what she kept telling me? Rashonda, you're doing good. You know if you get in trouble, you're going to go to prison for 15 years. You can't keep fighting people. You can't keep putting your hands. I said, okay, I ain't going to fight nobody. I'm going to stay the f*** quiet. But once you, once I'm sitting outside and you talking about, oh, you texting my baby daddy, my baby daddy texting you, bitch, I don't want your lame ass, crack ass baby daddy. The f*** ain't got no money for me. Listen, I'm right here and you're hurting my ears. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm screaming because I'm in the back you're of angry. a cop cop car and I didn't put my hands on nobody first and I know everybody's out here and they seen that shit and the fact that they didn't even say I put my hands on the bitch that's that's a problem bro you so are when she, when she poured the Gatorade on you I she, took off on her ass I did I want to ask did she hit you with the bottle or she poured the Gatorade she threw on the you? bottle she threw the Gatorade on me and threw the bottle at me okay. so yes I hit her Any after real? that bottle hit me in my face yes I hit her ass okay. She hit me first. Where it's called self defense. I got you. Where on your face did she hit you? Oh. Right here. She threw f***ing gay right on me, bro. Your eyes. I'm trying to look at your face. I'm sorry. I cannot believe I'm in the back of a car. And I the did reason not you see hurt, this right bro. here, that's because you pulled I did not you mean to hurt us. you. I'm I sorry. You didn't mean to hurt. I'm not saying you did, but that's the force you were using to try to get away from us. I was trying to get to that other And we bitch. almost had to face plant you on the ground. Yeah, you, you can, you can, you can FaceTime me. And she's sitting there laughing, bro. Oh my God, bro. I'm about to get my sister to whoop your ass. Bro, what? <laughs> bro, this is not right. She's been right. Obviously, she's a legend. She started it. She's got this little, tiny, 
like scuff on her lip where she's bleeding. I don't want EMS or anything, but I would. Did she be saying anything indicative of who started it? She stated in that she was sitting down here on the porch, sitting up, sitting doing whatever. This girl comes downstairs to her baby daddy's car, gets in and then gets out, and then they leave. And she says, um, "I'm trying to save you. I'm trying to save you." And she's like, "I don't understand like what you're talking about." So then she, the girl upstairs says something to her about fighting her. So she goes inside and changes, takes her wig off and puts on these clothes. Yeah, because she's like she's gonna try to fight me. So she's on probation for tons of batteries and a whole bunch of stuff. So she's freaking out right now. So. She says that um, this girl then comes downstairs, throws her water bottle, like throws the Gatorade on her and then hits her with the Gatorade. So that's when she goes up and she starts hitting her. She's like, I'll be honest, I was hitting her, but she did that to me. And that set me off because it pissed me off because she did it to me. What is she doing? She's just knocking on the door. She's being unconscious. So, and she's like, and then y'all got here right after. Okay. So she is saying that she was like, just doing this in her face and she was like, oh, one of those times hit me. So we, we just wrapped up and started fighting. Yeah, well, we, I mean, uh, there's honestly nothing we could get her for a public prey or something if we wanted or resisting us, but nothing's gonna resolve tonight if we let her out of house. I don't, they're gonna start fighting. Let me see but if we can the get battery away. So part the is mutual. Ball picker mic said, I mean, you didn't see who started it. Yeah, battery part's mutual. I need to get her 14 now. All very upset. I understand. This young lady literally. Provoking from oh, a week or two. You can call my probation officer. I told her about this already. Right. Listen, she threw a drink on me. I get it. I get it. I get it. So spell spell your name. Let me fill her in. So, anyways, we get here. She's like, oh, I'm just saying nothing. But she tells she's amped up, like she's ready to go. So she starts going towards him, not to get him, but to go up the stairs. So I go to grab her. She slips. So then he grabs her and we bear hugs her. So then we're able to put her in cuffs just to be like, chill the fuck out, like chill. She's still trying to fight us to go up there. She's pulling away. We're both like having older. She's trying to throw herself on the ground. We have to shove her in the car. She won't quit yelling and screaming. The other girl's upstairs. So she's saying this girl upstairs threw a water bottle at her. They were having words and threw Gatorade on her. So she got mad and went upstairs and they kind of start fighting. She's stating that this girl up here is stating that she started it. She provoked it. Yeah, so basically, I mean, there's no easy, battery easy. charge. And we have nobody out here. There's a whole bunch of people that nobody saw me. My thing is, she's on probation for a whole bunch of battery charges. She lives down here. She's gonna go up there and beat that girl's ass if we let her out of cuffs and let her leave. I don't feel comfortable with that. We're gonna be back out here and send taking both or someone to jail. So the resisting. So Sarge is said just do the resisting when we were trying to bring her to the car, just to try to. He said just word it where we were trying to separate the parties from the public affray happening where she was trying to charge the other girl. Yeah, and she's like, I didn't mean to hurt you because I showed her. I was like, obviously, you were pulling hard enough to scratch my hand with handcuffs. Like, you were pulling hard enough to get away from us, and it's all in family. So sorry to say, just take her with that. I'm just copy the notes, just do it as a disturbance as well. I'm put my 10 15 times. I'm about to go to prison for fing years behind a fing bitch that was fing with me. Do you understand that shit? Do you understand that? Do you understand that bitch was provoking me, bro? Provoking me, talking all that bitch shit. But when the bitch actually stepped to her, she was scary as Then do a drink. You talking all that shit. But tell them motherfuckers how you let your son eat weed. Tell him that. Tell him to check your son fing blood. Yeah, you snitching this shit. Tell him how you let your son smoke fing weed. Tell him that, bitch. Yeah, and I'm talking my shit in the cop car. I'm tired of this shit, bro. She's possibly gonna get more charges. I don't care, bro. At this point, you just f***ing my life up. You think I care if you'll give me more charges? Okay. You if you really hey, think I give a f If right? you want to, you can. You just took everything away from me. Behind the ugly, fat, stink ass bitch that don't mm -hmm. do shit but sit in the house all f***ing. Hey, you're fucked. That shit is fucking crazy. And I'm the one going to hey, fucking hell. Hey, hey, no, listen, it's, you're no done. it's none of that. It's you're none done. of that, bro. Done. It's none of that. I don't care. I don't care at this point, bro. Because like I said, I did nothing to nobody. 
not to know f***ing body. You think I care about the f***ing white f***ing police? Alright, Stick your feet up. For what? Y'all about to trap me? Yeah, stick your feet up. This is fucking crazy. How y'all gonna arrest a person who didn't even touch This is not, I'm not sticking my feet. I'm saying like this, I'm gonna go to jail. I'm gonna sit like this, bro. Y'all done took everything away from me. So I'm gonna sit like this to jail. Hey, can you pull her? I don't even have my back camera. Stick your feet up before we pull you out the car. I don't give a f if you pull me out the car. I ain't got shit to lose anyway. Hey! Don't yeah, stop yeah. me! Don't kick me! Stop! I don't give a Stop! I don't give a this. You're gonna get hurt. Stop! I'm please. already hurt. Please 15 stop. years plus discharge? Yeah, I'm already hurt. So what is the point of being strapped in if I'm going to jail? I can't run. What is the point? Please what is stop. the point? This is insane, bro. I'm gonna have to get out one day, so. That Bernie ass talking about let me get the keys, bro. Oh my God. You better move when I get out because on everything I love, I'm let gonna fing kill it. all y'all in your fing head. And that's on everything I fing love. That's on everything I fing love. Like. This is crazy. You know I'm on probation and you still yet yeah, doing this shit. How is that okay, bro? You literally are locking me up talking about I'm resisting you. I got in your fucking car, you dumbass white bitch, bro. I hate white people. Y'all don't give a about black people at all, bro. Really don't. I just told your bitch ass I got 15 years if I go to jail and you still fucking taking me. Talking about, oh yeah, I don't have anything to arrest you, so you made us something. Dumbass, white ass, bitch, scary as so you had to zip my mother Bro, oh my god, bro, what the This is crazy, how are you gonna, how are you not gonna arrest the bitch for hitting me first, bro? This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is crazy, bro. This is fucking crazy, bro, what the This dumbass bitch. I didn't bother nobody. I didn't bother no body. And I am going to f***ing jail behind a f***ing bitch in a ghost fucking lie, bro. What the f***? Bro, oh my god, bro, what the f***? Bro, you just literally took everything from me, dog. You just literally took every thing from me after you just said out your own f***ing mouth. Then I'm not gonna arrest you after I told your bitch ass that I was going in the house. This is so wrong, bro. This is wrong, bro. This is wrong as Now I'm about to go to prison for years. For years. When I get out, my mother are gonna be grown, bro. They're gonna hate me and think that I abandoned them. Wow, bro. Wow, another white person, another Karen, dog. Another Karen, bro. If that's the case, you should have took both of our asses to jail. That would have been only been fair, bro. You just said you ain't had shit to arrest me. Oh my god, dog. I did everything I was supposed to do. This stay the out of jail, bro. And now I'm going back behind the bench. Behind them, bro. I just told these people I did not try to hurt them. And this bitch sitting here telling the fucking black cop, yeah, she fucking scratched me. Yeah, you should try to hurt. How? How? You trying to fucking get me? You should have got the bitch that called you. The fucking, this bitch do something on me. I don't have the right to defend myself. You trying to tell me I'm supposed to take. Now your bitch ass can't talk? Yeah, okay. Dumb asshole. I'm not going to be in jail for ever or prison i'm trying to tell you that you literally just sent me away for years <laughs> for years bro this is crazy all right go. did you get my phone at least down this is insane bro you really sitting here taking me to jail behind a bitch that started with me that started with me bro that started with me and i'm in the back of
fucking car with a whole fucking car to flee an officer. That's fucking 10 years itself. So, yeah, you didn't get me on a battery, but you got me on a trying to flee an officer. That's 10 years plus the shit I'm already on probation for. Yeah, when the I get out of prison, I'm going to be about 40, 50. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking in consideration every party of this situation. Thank you so much. You seen that I was aggressor, aggressive. You said I wasn't going to go inside the house after I told you and gave you my word and even promised on my kid's head that I was going to go in the house. You sat there and talked to your little buddies, talking about, yeah, she was trying to, yeah, I did, was trying to run up there, but you did not have to put cuffs on me when this bitch hit me first. How the f I wrong? If she hit me first, bro, you couldn't even say, damn, can you go somewhere else for the night? You didn't even say that shit. Like other cops would have said. This shit is not right. How do you expect me to walk if you're going to keep these damn things? Can he do it? I wanted for him to do it. Please don't touch me. I wanted for the man to do it. Because all you had to say was you're going to jail. You sat there and you lie to me, you dumbass white bitch. I hate white people for real, bro. On everything I love. I literally sat there. You asked me what happened. I told you what happened, yet I'm still in the back of the car after I apologized to you and told you I did not try to do that to you. I am, but I don't have a choice, do I, you dumbass bitch? Yeah. <laughs> 